Welcome back again to our S4 HANA FIC or learning series. So far, we have completed organization structure, and under that organization structure, we have completed plant, we have completed company code, we have completed other settings. Now, here we are going to start with our global settings or general settings. The first one we are going to configure today that is related to fiscal year variant or related to our fiscal year settings. So first we have to understand what exactly fiscal year and why we need it. In simple language, if you are going to understand what exactly the fiscal year. So fiscal year is nothing but your financial year. So our financial year recipe point of view, how it is structured. So that is our fiscal year. Nothing but you can say the accounting year. So you take any financial applications, any software, ERP. So everywhere you will find one fiscal uh, financial year settings must be there so that when companies are going to post their various type of transactions in year end or in month end, in period end, quarter end, they're supposed to prepare their financial statements, which is nothing but your FSV financial statements. And uh, that includes our PNL and balance it. And normally in year end, it is required. So uh, that means fiscal year settings has to be there. Next one, we have to understand what is the format of this fiscal year settings? Is it like same format is applicable for all company codes or companies are using this one in the different way? So if we'll check this uh, particular diagram here, you can see fiscal year can be calendar year or fiscal year can be non-calendar year. So that means some companies may follow calendar year format, some companies they follow non-calendar format. Okay, so on what basis they are going to follow this? calendar year calendar year is always simple that means it is going to start from january and it is going to end with the december that means how the final uh, our calendar year format the same format we are going to use for our company's reporting point of view so which is going to start from jan 1st january and it is going to end with december some companies they are following on the basis of non calendar when i'm saying no, I'm, when i'm saying non calendar that is no standard format for non calendar Mostly, for, for example, let's say if we we'll take example of Indian companies, so they are following here April to March. So that means 1st April to 31st March. Sometimes you will find July to June also. Australian companies there, we will find July to June. So it can be anything. It can be in calendar. When it is calendar, it is fixed. Jan to December. When it is non-calendar, then we have to see what format they are going to use. Now, on what basis we are going to decide which we are going to take calendar or non-calendar in non-calendar also which format we are going to take. It is always depends on our requirement. So if you are going to define your financial year for finance point of view, always we are going to follow the statutory requirement. So that means if we'll take any company belongs to USA. So in USA, all the reporting they are doing USA, Europe. So they are doing the reporting on the basis of Jan to December. So that means we are going to follow Jan to December reporting. If we'll take example of India. So here we are, uh, you are reporting our books of accounts on the basis of April to March. So as per the country's requirement, as per the country's statutory requirement, we have to configure the fiscal year and we are going to use accordingly. So now we have the uh, option that uh, we have the flexibility to use different fiscal years. And what is that known uh, that that is variant? Variant means it is variable. So something is which is not specifically we are going to define for a particular company code. So that is known as your variant. So for example, we have configured one fiscal year variant T1. And now this, this T1 we have configured as calendar. Now we have two company code. Both company codes are belongs to USA or let's say one is for USA, another one is for Europe. As USA and Europe both are following the same format, that means that is the calendar format. So instead of configuring two times, two fiscal year variant like T1, T2, or anything so i'm just going to create this one at client level and same we can assign to our company code a and company code b so t1 can be assigned to company code a and company code b so this is our company code so that is the concept of variant 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 means it's a variable it is not fixed with a particular company code so in this settings you will find many settings which we are going to configure it is coming under our variant principle that means we are going to configure once and we can use it multiple times in sap it is also important because the system needs to know that how many posting periods you are going to define so once you decide that we are going for calendar or we are going for non-calendar in non-calendar whether it is a April to March, whatever. Once you define your 
uh, fiscal year then after that we are going to define that how many posting periods we are going to use because ultimately period wise the transactions will be recorded and period wise it is going to be reported so basically i can say that when the financial year is going to start and when it is going to end so that means how many posting periods we are going to use by default or best practice wise you will find 12 posting periods companies are using but it's not mandatory that it will be 12 or monthly basis they are going to use so they can take let's say weekly basis 52 posting periods they can use or they can in every 15 days they can also take their period but best practice or mostly will find 12 normal posting periods are available along with this 12 normal posting periods SAP is also allowing four additional periods which are known as your special periods so ever uh, ever uh, like you can say above 12 posting periods we are going to have some additional periods and that maximum we can take four additional periods so those are known as your special periods and these special periods are not used for your regular uses point of view so day-to-day -day operation point of view for your regular operation point of view we have this normal posting periods which are available 1 to 12 we are going to use whereas this additional special periods or this additional periods which we have maximum four that exclusively we are going to use for year-end adjustment purpose or for the audit purpose so i will add one special video on this special period so that time i will explain in detail just for your reference maximum we can take 12 plus four special periods so that means we can take 16 posting periods out of 16 12 is available for your normal operation point of view and four exclusively reserved for your special period adjustment point of view another important point here is that is related to fiscal year variant fiscal year variant can be year independent or it can be year dependent now let's understand what is year independent these terms very often you will find in interview and uh, in uses point of view also you will find year independent means for example we are going to incorporate our company in 2025 after that we are going to use it or we are going to op operate this company it's not like 2025 you are going to create fiscal year once again for 26 you are going to create the fiscal year variant 27 28 like this you are not going to configure the fiscal year variant again again you just create one fiscal year variant suppose t1 and same we are going to use with every fiscal every financial year so that is known as your year independent so year independent means the variant which the, or the structure whatever we have configured it will remain the same every year for example jan to december april to march so it will be always same so there is no change year wise whereas year dependent means the periods are going to be different or it will be defined different for a particular year so because of multiple regions we are going to follow in certain cases year dependent okay so for example let's say uh, there is a requirement of because of merger so normally we are following here let's say our financial year is reporting is jan to december so for understanding point of view i'm taking the calendar so this is our financial year so we are following calendar year as our financial year now uh, if there is a requirement of merger and we have to close our books of accounts let's say uh, before that or let's say we are just going to use only nine months in a particular financial year so let's say we are going to close our books of account let's say before our financial year so in that case that will be your year dependent fiscal year variant so year dependent fiscal year means when periods are defined differently for a particular financial year so let's say instead of december we are going to close before that or let's say we are following april to march so we are following uh, here april to march right and because of this merger now we are going to close our books of accounts so we, uh, our financial year we are going to start from 2025 till 2026 march okay so this is our financial year if it is a normal one then we can say it is our non-calendar but because of the merger now we are going to close our books of accounts from april to december so this is known as your year dependent so only for finance year 2025 we are going to close our books of accounts on december so that next year onwards we are going to follow calendar so that period that 2025 2026 will be considered as your calendar whereas for 2026 it will be considered as year dependent so when for a particular period we are going to for a particular financial year we are going to define in such a way so in this case it is known as your year dependent this one also i will explain in another video or in special case i am going to explain in detail so when uh, 
some settings we are going to exclusively define for one particular company, one particular finance layer. So in that case, it is uh, known as your year dependent. Let's say in year 2028, so let's say it's an ongoing business, but in 2028, due to some government mandate, due to some government requirement, we have to align with Jan to December reporting. Okay, so now for the same finance year 2020, the fiscal year had to be only nine months. So we are following April to March. Okay, so this previous example may be merger. In this case, it is because of government rules. So some guidelines are there. So we have to close our books of account for 2028 instead of December, uh, instead of subsequent year 2019 March, we have to close our books of account December 2018. So this will be your year dependent. So this as for the need we have to decide whether it will be year dependent or year independent. Normal case, it will be always year independent, but certain requirement if it will, it will be there, then in that case, it will be year dependent. Now, how to check in a particular company code, which fiscal year variant is assigned? Although for our company code, we have not yet assigned any fiscal year variant, but for any existing company code, if you want to see for which fiscal year variant is assigned in different way, we can check. One option, you can go to the transaction code OB37. There you can check it. You can use the navigation to ch check the fiscal year variant, whatever it is assigned, or you can go to the global parameters. So there also you can check the fiscal year variant. So one option is you can just use here OB37. So OB37 is nothing but to assign the fiscal year variant to for a particular company code, you can use that one or you can use the navigation. So right now we are in financial accounting. So financial accounting, then go to your global settings. So under this global settings, we have the ledgers and uh, then go to your fiscal year and posting period settings. So go to fiscal year and check here assign company code to fiscal year variant so this is nothing but your ob37 transaction code so execute here then search the company code uh, i will not check oh, okay let me try first my company code which i have or which we have created there so we have created a100 now you can see this a100 is not assigned with anything because so far for our company code we have not assigned any fiscal year variant in fact we have not created that one so in next video i am going to create the fiscal year variant and we will assign but for a particular company code if you want to see which fiscal year variant is assigned here then you can check here once or anything when you will assign so you can see here that one particular fiscal year variant is assigned this is the one way other option you can go to global parameters or obby6 obby6 so here let's check one company code so company code suppose let's say z200 now with this company code z200 i want to see which fiscal year variant is assigned so here you can see that fiscal year variant is assigned v3 so here something v3 is there that that one is uh, assigned here so this is one way of to check so you can directly go to ob37 or you can check in the global parameter in fact in the global parameters you can check many things but right now as uh, i'm explaining fiscal year variant so basically here we can check the fiscal year variant so it's system delivered v3 is system delivered v3 is for april to march reporting and k4 is uh, uh, our uh, calendar one so in next video when i will configure it there i can show you that what are the system delivered options are there or we can create our own we will create our own and we will understand that one okay so if we'll summarize so what we discussed today so we discussed the introduction of the fiscal year settings so what exactly the fiscal year variant option we have in sap so that we covered the difference between calendar year non-calendar year and the year dependent and or we are dependent versus year independent. In next video, I'm going to show you how to configure a fiscal year variant step by step.